So we're really excited. We have Charity Grace here. She's been long time with Monaco Salon for a few years now. Yeah. So we're really excited because she's kind of journeyed through our progress with the whole extension um, business as far as Monaco Extensions is concerned. We actually have been doing bonds and tapins and we have over 18 years of experience in our both locations. So she's an opportunity to kind of grow into the hand tied hair extension venture that we started about a year ago. So I wanted to bring her on. One of the most questions that we get asked here when we do consultations for hand tied extensions is are, why is it better or why are bonds better or why are tapins better? I mean, there's definitely pros and cons and I think one of the best people to talk to about it or ask is going to be Charity, somebody who's actually worn it all and she's now wearing our hand tied Monaco extensions hair. Yeah, there is definitely pros and cons to every method, um, but one of the things I love about the hand tied is how safe it is for my hair. I've been doing extensions for a long time and damage is something that I have had to be very careful about with all the coloring and the dyeing I like to do on my hair. So having the hand tied allows me to have this long hair, have lots of fun colors, and it's virtually damage free. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, if she mentioned wearing a lot of the other methods that we have had, have pros and cons, but when it comes to hand tied hair extensions, it really eliminates the fear of wearing hair extensions. Although she's worn many brands, we never really saw too much decline until it got into her doing more of the coloring and more of her, um, not Ninja Warrior stuff, but how do I explain it? Maybe traveling and in the water and the ocean. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like that had a lot to do with why maybe the other methods didn't work? Or do you think it's just across the board, this is hands down the safest? Yeah, for sure. I think that all plays a part into it. Having a really active lifestyle, I am putting my hair in a lot of different elements. And so I think it wore on some of the bonds that were used for the extensions. So with the hand tied method, I think um, without the glue and the chemical process, I think it actually like, allows it to, to just hold on a little bit longer and last a little bit. Yeah, speaking of glue, um, the tapins, which we do carry in our Monaco Extension brand, it is a medical adhesive tape, but when it is taken out of the guest hair, or when it was taken out of Charity's hair, it does leave a residue from the medical adhesive tape, but for most people, it just the first thing that comes to their mind or that they feel is actually glue. And sometimes the glue and the residue is stuck in the hair, but it does come out for the most part easily. But I mean, just having freedom not to have any residue, any glue in the hair, I think is really why hand ties are taking over. Yeah, and on top of that, the removal process is completely painful, painless, and it's um, super quick. It's one of the faster ones I've ever had. When I get my extensions out, it's definitely a lot sweeter. Yeah, I, and I love actually removing hand ties as opposed to removing bonds for the last 15 years. And our rising stars slash assistants will agree, but that, that's a big thing. And you know, doing extensions for so long, it's never really the bond that damages. It's what happens when you're wearing those bonds for four to six months. The bonds actually come out pretty easy, but what's happening is, is if your hair naturally sheds, which everybody's does, it's raveling around that bond. So the bond comes out and you're stuck with maybe natural hair that should have shedded months prior that wasn't able to come out. That resorts in us detangling, which can take hours. In Charity's case, it did take hours. So it's never really the bond um, or the company. It's just all in how your hair reacts to it. So I think that um, for most people in Charity, the hand ties have just been an easy in and out application. Yeah, for sure. How do you feel about maybe the way it's when you pull up your hair, like any pros and cons to that compared to other methods we've used? Yeah, I feel like this method allows me to still have a lot of um, versatility in my style. Like I can do all the braids, I can do all my hairstyles up and down, very easy. And I don't have to really worry about um, bonds or anything showing. Um, they're very well concealed in my hair and the way the wefts are tied in um, allows for a lot of different styles. Yeah, I, I like that she said that I myself, I'm also in hand tides and I'm not going hey back. Guys, and we so spoke about this earlier in the chair. I just cannot picture putting it, anything else in my hair but hand tides. I know Monica Extensions does have tape in, seamless. And that's still a great avenue for you to try. I feel like it's more of a gateway to get involved in either doing hair extension services and then going into wearing hand tides or performing hand tied hair extension services. Um, you know, seamless hair extensions you're able to attach in under 30 minutes. The hand tie service, although the removal is 10 minutes, applying them does take longer. 
So um, that's always something to think about for hairdressers when you're looking to get into extensions. Tapins might be a great way for you just to get started to see if uh, the hair extension community is for you or not. But yeah, having the versatility, being able to pull your hair up is a go with hand-tied hair extensions. Is there any other questions that maybe we've been asked in the past that we're not kind of remembering right now that we should? Um, a lot of people ask me if I can actually color my hair with the extensions in, and I do. I can color my hair just like I would do my normal hair with extensions in. So that's kind of nice for me. Whenever I want to do like a color refresh or even switch my color up, I can leave the extensions in and still color. Yeah, and if you check out, obviously most of you guys have either checked out Charity, you follow Charity, but if you don't, follow her because you actually will see her coloring a lot of her own hair, even in the past, doing her own braids. And you're using Arctic Fox yes, color, color, vegan, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And I like that because it gives her the opportunity to be able to try different brands on our hair. And Charity, again, has grown with the hand-tied hair extensions. Um, I mean, even from just the minute we opened, she's tried different manufacturers as we're growing and making our hair better. And we have her actually in, a, in another manufacturer, newer quality, and that's something with our brand, we're always going to be elevating the standards of our hair. Me having the experience that I've had for so long, I know exactly what I'm looking for, and I know the quality that I'm looking for, and we're getting closer and closer to where we want to be, and she's had the opportunity to color our newer hair. And I think that your feedback was pretty good for us. Yeah, it colored great. I thought it took the color really well, and it felt soft and silky right after, so that's always a plus. Awesome, yeah, did a great job. I, I saw her come in and I was like, wow, it looks really good. So she does an amazing job when it comes to coloring and braiding and it really works for her lifestyle. And I would say that's one of the most important things when you're looking for which method or which brand to put in. Think about your lifestyle, what's easier for you? Can you be in the salon you know, every eight to 10 weeks or do you need to come in once every four to six months? All of those things are gonna definitely gear you towards the right method, but I would have to say, hands down for me, and I'm, Charity will, I'm sure, agree, hand tides are probably the easiest, the most versatile, and non-damage-free extensions out there. Yeah, for sure. This definitely fits my lifestyle the best, and like I said, for having healthy hair and like keeping my hair safe while I can still enjoy having a lot of thick hair and long length and everything is really great. There's one more question, so we're going to go ahead and let you guys know. A question she gets asked a lot is how much does this service actually cost in the salon? And um, we've actually had a lot of you guys come to us and say that you do want charity hair. So keeping in mind with your lifestyle, she does like the big hair. It does need to be thick and full, and when she braids it, it needs to be long. So it's a little bit on more of the extreme end. So this is not normal. Most people would actually be in a lot less of a price range, but to give the look that she's looking at hand-tied services, I mean, you're looking well over 3200 to be able to give this exact same look, including the hair, including the application, including the coloring service here at the salon. Um, again, this is something that out of all the guests that we have coming to Monaco Extensions Lounge here in Tampa, Florida, I would say this is probably 1% of the guests that come in that actually choose this look. We do have 20 wefts in her, which is also not normal. Most guests are actually wearing 10 wefts. So that would be half of that 3,200 or even less is more so what you'd be looking for. But honestly, no place should ever give you a quote over the phone. I have guidelines when you call our location. We can give you some rough, rough estimates, but reality is you do need to come in. I know we get people on Instagram, you know, how much for this picture, how much for that? We do try our best, but reality is you need to come in. We never want to overquote or underquote. Every situation is going to be different. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Hope that you enjoyed this <laughs> and doing more stuff like this in the future. So, yeah. Thank you.